<laughs> Poor trapped souls, dragged to a foreign land, surrounded by the mists. What do you seek here? Knowledge, honor, revenge. You clutch onto steel and faith, but you are far from the sight of your God. Know this. He is the ancient. He is the land. And you are trespassing. Is all scratched up. Yeah. From his sympathy. Oh. He said he wishes to Augustine, but he's also hunting the dead of Stroud. And he said to meet us at. Is it? Is it Kresik or Kresik? He told you to roll. Uh, no, I'll, I'll be nice. He told you to meet him at the tower at Lake Baratok by Kresik. Bear Bear. Bear. Well, like anyone trying to kill Strahd and has some knowledge, I'm down because that guy hey, just keeps yanking our chains. All my friends. Yeah, I, I got that part down. Tripper, you like kind of just stare, and in your mind's eye, you see a huge lake and a tower as you come back. It's at the base of a mount of of mountains. All right, man. Like, I guess I'll give some orders to my son. Right there. And, uh, yeah, we'll get going out of here because he came to this town for... Who, who are you looking at? I don't, I don't know. We came here for a reason. Someone. Well, Summon your soul? captains. Anyone want want remember soul. why souls. we came to Vlaki? When we were looking for the souls. Well, we are, yes. Uh, yeah, but... I had a mission to go. That was part of it. I had to go. You need to kill that guy. I know. I'm not I don't know about that. I want you to summon him, though. You're just saying this to me right now? Like, in the game? Yeah, I mean, like. Yeah, I'm gonna tell Percy, like, I'm gonna explain everything. Like, hey, I'm gonna get this captain. I'm gonna cut off his arm. So I get an extra arm. I'm like, hey, man, like, I, I get that and all, but, like, I can't just go cutting off my captain of the guard's arm. They might all of a sudden think, hey! This guy's an imposter. <laughs> All of a sudden, you hear a ear-piercing scream come from outside. Yeah. Ah! As all got, the, there's got, just all this ruckus. I and pull, I pull out my swords and I run out of The door bursts I open. The, fuck out of the door <laughs> bursts open here. and yeah. three guards are saying, Sir, the city, it's being overtaken. Oh, no, by who? And he runs away. Oh. And you guys just hear, you just hear, ah, screaming yes. coming from everywhere. All right, right you just see me just put you just see me just rip off my Vistani <laughs> outfit and just put on my stroke of better. Let's go. In the chaos of all the screaming of the, of the city from the outside. Oh, chaos going on? Yeah. Right? Oh, oh, are you still in barren form? You guys aren't outside yet. Okay, you walk out and you get this sudden thought. The holy symbol of Ravenkind is still in your chambers. I run upstairs. You run up to your chamber and you know immediately that it's under your bed. You reach under, you feel, you feel nothing. You feel nothing, you reach in, you feel a piece of metal. And you pull it out. And you have like this chain. You just put it in your bag. You run back down. Percy disappeared real fast. Hello? 
Huh? You too! Yeah, right. yeah. and then Percy... You is still like, what? Is this what happening? Yeah, Percy came back after a moment, after a few moments. I just dash out. Yeah. As you guys get outside. Yeah. I just dash out. I'm not What's happy. The What's the chaos? Uh, We're outside. What's I'll the chaos? I don't have scars from the saber tip. Let's go! I've already uh, been attacked a million times. I went upstairs to get the holy symbol of Raven's fucking coin, and I ran back downstairs and apparently... Infinity War style chaos is going inside. What is happening out there? We're outside now. As you outside. guys emerge from this hat, from, from the. I'm sword and I whip your mold. Let's go! You see, you see, Trevor. Yeah! There's chaos of the city as you guys walk outside. Yeah. This house is on fire across the, the, the way. It's it's nighttime now, and there's a big, huge, beaming full moon coming from the sky. Oh, okay. There's people screaming. The whole the house is like on fire. What is that? <laughs> you just see me. The music fire. What did we see? All the houses are just on fire. There's people running away, running away from you. There's like wolves, like ch- tearing people apart. Werewolf! There's like these vampires. You guys can see like like there's multiple vampires. Like the same one. Same ones running from the coffin shop oh, on the the and jumping. Fights. All these vampires are like preying on all these citizens. There's also these cultists in red robes launching fireballs across the way. And you guys come up <laughs> and you guys are just in the street. Four guards run up to you. Lord, what's happening? Lord Baron, I'm, af- I'm afraid the city has been attacked. Oh my goodness, what? What? Wolves, vampires, wolves. Look. And all of a sudden, in the moonlight, you guys see this billowing form of Strahd flying there, his coat, his cloak billowing. And he turns, and his and his cloak opens up a little bit. You guys just can see bones dangling from his belt, and he flies off. Uh, I went, I threw my leg around his foot. Way too far away. He was way gone. You guys just saw it up against the moonlight. Damn. All of a sudden, you guys hear this... This crazy growling come turn around as these three guards all charge toward this towards this wolf and they're all slinging at, at it. One of the guards. Step aside, guards. Lord Baron, we must escape the city. And who? That wolf. Damn. Okay. Run up and just flip over the guards and chop off its head. Slice as this wolf as this wolf just as this wolf just howls off into the distance. This one guard runs up to you. He says, Lord Baron, we Trif- must escape the city! Trevor, take, ask take Guile! Trevor, ask Guile if the werewolves are allies, maybe. No, it was, a, it was a wolf. Oh, my bad. Wolves? Oh. Guile. Oh. It was just a guy. Like, Whoops. Yeah, yeah, was... I say, everyone, get out! Me and Guile got this. Well, you just two want to take it all on yourself? You found many I just grabbed the chip on the scruff. Let's go. We start by. I chop off your head. All right. Who's? What? Jager, you go to grab this kid, and Trefor turns and slashes at your hand. You take four damage. He looks at you dead in the eye. What's up? You really want to go with me right now? I'll kill you right now. What's happening? Guile walks up. Oh, me and Trefor got this. You guys run. Okay. And he looks I at you. I see these sheep. Oh, you guys, you should leave no the will you. Remember that next time. I, I think the boys you. lost his mind. It's time for leaving. <laughs> Do you guys Just run off? Yeah, up. we run Trefor off. and Guile face the m- madness of the city off. as you guys all bounce. Yeah. You yeah, guys escape. Good luck with that. Yeah, good luck. Dude, you got this, Taylor. Yeah, you really don't. Okay. You're, you're gonna get an... Okay. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's okay. That's fine. He's gonna figure it out. He's gonna figure it out one way. I'm not gonna die. Oh, you guys are at N7. Where do you try to escape? Okay. We're at 7. Ready? Pause. Pause. You guys are at N7. Where do you go? We can't see you. Guys you guys are in the middle of the city. Okay, oh. we can't see you. Not right. <laughs> you're like, guys, you're in 7. Go! Come <laughs> <laughs> on! There's, Where a, we go? there's a building. There's this chick being dragged out by her hair by these vampires. Okay. And all these vampires just prey on her, just ripping her to shreds. This va- this This van... This no, werewolf like comes plunging out and is just yeah. destroying all these people right in front of you guys. The werewolf and the vampires are both I see, killing I, people? Did yeah. you see this? Oh yeah, you're not there. Pause. Thank you're okay. gone. Yeah, that's what happened when you do that. What do you guys do? You oh. guys are at N7. Right? Yeah, you guys have the three guards. Alright, 
I'm like, we must get out of the city. Ignore the civilians. I am oh, you fucking kidding me. Move out. Let's go. We must go to the. All right, we must go to the tower on Lake Zarvich. All right, let's do it. To the east of the city. I agree. Yes, my captain. Lead oh, us. Yeah. As he turns, as you guys, you guys turn, you guys go towards the right, yeah. all towards N one. You guys start running down the city. Yeah. Well, yeah. Dial. You mean, mean N four? We're gonna Lake Zarvich. Because you said Lake Zarvich. Did I? Like, or Lake Baratar? It's like Baratar. Maybe Baratar? they sound similar. It's like Baratar. Ah, where's that at? Right. It's a little misleading with the whole thing saying we're going to Lake. Hey. I'm Gaia. We're not, I'm not Gaia. Stop trying to talk to me over there. I'm not. I will. Who are you? You just betrayed us. No. I just want to sort of him. And you, you're going to. Well, I'm going to get you back. You told that. us all to get oh, away. Oh. Me and Gaia, we are pissed off at you right now. Yeah, we were a team and you told us to get okay, out. Okay, pause. Everybody, Lake Baratok is over here to the left. So are we yeah. insane. You guys are going right here. So we're going... You and the wolf West. are dealing with your own problems. And that's why we're going to find our way through. Oh, it's a little bit back. That's where the tower is. Yes, we go to N1 as God suggested. You and the wolf are the whole city of Monster. What did he said? Well, me and him are going to be here. We will see. We have some D's and A's and things. Dude, I feel like what we and Gizzy did clear a path for us. The same as yeah. Alright. Alright. So you guys are in N1. Oh, yeah, N1. Okay. Sorry, man. Let's we'll see what he did. We're going to N1, bro. Got it. You guys are all dashing into the city. You guys are into the city. I'm running past him. I'm just flipping him off. I'm running. I flipped him off back. just like shit, puts his hands up and like flips you off back. And he turns back around towards Guile. And there's these three vampires that are right there. And, and Guile looks at you. He does this. And he just dashes. And you guys follow. You and Trepor and Guile are just running in blazing. So, I swords it, blazing. I ripped one of the Vampires went, went around his neck and yeah. throw his head off. Yep, and it just rips it off. There's just blood everywhere. <gasps> Another vampire is ah, charging towards you. Slice, you just slice its head right off. As you're just running towards the city, Guile transforms into this werewolf and is just launching, like destroys this vampire, gets up on this on the city of the wall and climbs up. You like use your whip and you launch out your whip and Guile grabs it, puts you on your back, and you guys just jump. And then all of a sudden, this huge cape you just see this red cape come out of nowhere and boom you just get this instant impact across the face and you guys are like falling down and you guys smash into the ground you guys are just um and then you strut is on top of you trevor oh, so and he's just slamming your hand head into the ground you take 12 damage and he just picks you up and throws you into a wall as we cut I, I got, yeah, I got, I'm sorry. I got, uh, I got slammed his head. Oh, oh. I picked his blood. There's blood. I As you guys are like running, <laughs> as you guys are running into the city. 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 No, no regret. regret. He's like, no, I want your head back. <laughs> that I feel great about it. You guys are running through the streets That's of Alaki. No good. C- city, cities are, the buildings are on fire. Yeah. There's all this chaos as you guys are escaping down to this to the church. Do you guys want to go into the church or continue past the church? The church. I'm just running. You guys run with Velaki, the burning city behind you guys as We're you escape. As you escape Velaki. This is so fun. Yeah. yeah. God, dude. That's why we are You guys can see over all the way, like both hands. You guys both are, hands. While well, not holding my sword, <laughs> fighting for my life. Yeah. Both, uh, yes. He's committed. He's like, I mean, you can do it. I've held weapons and done it before. It's doable. You guys escape Velaki and eventually run up into the forest. Yeah. You guys have three guards. You guys are all kind of like out of breath. As the, you guys turn back around and you guys can see the burning city of Balaki behind you. <laughs> that dumb kid is gonna get everyone's a out of kill. everyone's out of breath. Stupid kid's gonna get. You guys are in the dark over. forest. You guys are in the Svalik woods. But we got I don't know. Wall. You're not part of this right we now. We got over the wall though. I uh, I you didn't you know, know, I pull out my sword. Yeah. After the, but like, did you get like hit this way back into the city or this way out of the city? You don't know. I, He's uh, like, yeah, you're knocked out. He says. Dude. Oh, God. Even though he just threw you into a building? 
while we're trying to catch our breath, I go up to the trees and I immediately start I'm cutting really branches off to make torches. Years. And I just catch each one and light on fire and I hand them to everybody. Boom. Okay. And I go everybody and like, here's a torch, here's a torch, here's a torch. Boop. You guys look up and the moonlight is really the only thing until Callan hands you guys a torch yeah. that illuminates everything. Right. And as soon as he lights the the torch nice. with his green flame, probably yes. Instead of a green flame emanating from the flame, which is green, all of the trees begin oh. to start glowing red. Oh, I was like, wow! And the floor around you, everyone, you guys just have this red tint around you as you guys all look up, and the moon is just being. It looks like there's just blood filling up the moon mm, as it turns to a dark red. I know what this time means. You're not here. You're not there. As a, just but a the dark moon red. Like... The moon is just complete red. I know what happened. You guys hear more various screams yeah. come from the city. Yeah. The creatures on fire. You should have stayed with us. Yeah, yeah, you're we, not there, we don't dude. know. We don't know what the fuck you're You should have stayed with us. You're past this. You're not. It's okay. Well, it's okay. Don't move. worry. Moving and on. I know what Shh. The guy you're not here. <laughs> now, what are we doing? You guys are in the in the forest. Okay. Kind of just catching your breath. All right. Now, is it still on us, or did you go back to him? It's still on you guys for a little bit. Okay. We're just gonna keep. Going? Yep. Right. Because he said keep going. So you guys just continue down the path? Right. I mean, what else can we do? As you guys walk in the forest, the blood red moon above you, igniting your path, you trudge on right. down the path. Right. <clears throat> I tell him we're going to the tower on the lake. Whoa. We just watched a whole city burning and screaming, this better be worth it, Callan. <laughs> what were we gonna do to save it? What, yeah, like, what, I, what were I, you I gonna do? God, God shit, we would have died. I, I, hey, I, everyone, shh. Uh, the mad. Everyone, try for It's in slow motion. Strahd has your head Epic death. holding on to your, the back of your head, and he just slams it into this wall. Your head is just smashed into this fucking wall. Bricks crumble. This is all in slow motion. You just get this sudden pain. Your leg like lifts up. You fall down to the ground. You like roll over and Strahd, standing before you, has the most demonic looking face you've ever seen on Strahd. You can't even talk. You're just stunned. Strahd starts walking towards you, slowly. Pulls out his sword, shooting the red glinting off of the fi- off of the moon. You're looking up. You look over and at Guile. He's just destroyed, smashed by rocks. And he picks up his sword and he brings it down on you. And all of a sudden, Guile picks up, rolls over, turns into this giant werewolf, and just launches himself at you and just just tackles Strahd, slams him into the into this building, and they just start fighting and fighting. Trevor, you're just dazed. You're dazed. You're sitting there. You can't you can't even really stand up. Everything's so blurry. You stand up. You finally get yourself to your head to your feet. It's just blurry as heck. What do you do? You're standing there. You you draw, your sword just falls out of your hand. You have zero strength. You the only thing you can do is just walk. Right before you, Guile and Strahd are just wrestling around each other. You guys can see Guile just getting smashed. Guile's flashed across the face, blood everywhere. Strahd gets on top of him and is over- overpowering him and is just ripping at Guile. All you guys can see is Dragor, he's just, er, Trefor, he's just barely able to walk. It's in slow motion. He's like barely. And then he just dro- falls to the ground. You like look up. <laughs> You look up and you guys, you can just see Guile just getting completely torn to shred. Strahd grabs him by the chin, exposes his throat, and you just see the, the back. Trevor, you just, all you can see is Trevor, he's just on the ground, just reaching towards, you can't even, it's all blurry. All you can see is just all these shapes of Guile and all just this, this blood. You just say, no! It's inaudible. All you can see, Trevor's just screaming, no! And then Strahd stands up, turns, 
smiles, does this black portal, and just jumps through, disappears. Giles just <coughs> coughing all this blood. Yeah, I run up to him. You're on the ground. You barely pick yourself up. You're weak. You're standing there. All these buildings around you are just on fire. All these people are running away for their lives. I walk you walk up to Guile. You walk up to Guile. His throat is just completely ripped out. You can see that he's like trying to regenerate. He's like coughing. You can see his throat just open. It's like going up and down as he's swallowing, just trying to breathe. <gasps> Jeff, Jeff. I it. it just all your hand just gets warm with the red blood liquid just draining out of his throat. You can feel it. He's looking at you, Jeff. You guys are looking at each other. Hold on to my, my legacy. I'm not, I'm not gonna make it. Yes, you are. You, James, can I do this with my new car power? I take my energy out and just put it into it. You can feel his life force fading, fading from you. Mm. And he looks at you. Do you want my curse? Yes. He grabs your arm in slow motion. I want it. And he bites on the guy, onto Trefor's arm. You get this crazy, piercing feeling. And you remember all these times where you and Guile would fight vampires and monsters together. All of the best times of your life. And you feel his bite on your arm. And you have this intense pain tr trickling through your arm, up to your shoulders. It overtakes you. And then you feel Guile's bite loosen to nothing. And all of you guys see is just Guile's hand drop like this. And Chef was just like, no! As we cut. This is good with This is the whole thing with Oh, that was beautiful. I'm just saying that right now. That's fucking beautiful. That was a beautiful scene. I know you're hurting Trevor, but realistically, that was a beautiful scene. And it needed to happen. As you guys are walking, you guys hear footsteps running from behind you. Yeah. And you guys just see Trefor just sprinting as fast as he can. He doesn't even see you guys. His eyes are just swollen. He's just bawling his eyes out. And he's just burnt and just covered in blood. His arm is just, he's just holding his arm like this and he's just trying to run and he's like stumbling and he hits this rock and he just plummets to the ground. Trefor, you're at one HP. You're like barely alive, Trefor. You just look up and you see this group of people off, off, off to the other side of you and you barely recognize and then just darkness. Trevor is now just unconscious and... Uh, I go up to him. So much pick him up. I pick him up. You're still in Baron form? Like, yes. <laughs> There's guards, dude. Yeah. True. I can't just all of a sudden be like, Whoa! No, no it's <laughs> Dang, keep, it, keep it going. I, I like it. Dragar, you immediately go and pick up Trevor. <clears throat> and I'd like... To, I, I freaking told you. Because I already could just have a feeling that <laughs> something bad happened. Yeah. Trevor, you wake up <coughs> to Dragar. A crow. A raven. Yeah. Overhead. Callan, you get this look in your eye? That's your, that's your baby mama. Um. Is that your baby mama? <laughs> no. It's an um. <laughs> Oh, uh, am I a uh, curse of the raven? Can I summon a raven? No. Oh. Curses are bad. I know. <laughs> but eventually, raven. as a lycanthrope, yeah, where sure. where raven lycanthrope, you can turn into a raven, but not yet. Right. As of now, you have your raven hulk form and your hybrid form and your human form. <laughs> squawk out. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Callan does a perfect squawk back at it. You guys just look back and Callan actually, never mind, because he has the earring. Never mind. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Can I understand what it's saying? What? Where is she? The were raven? Can I understand what it's saying? Mm -hmm. If he is a were raven. Yes, but it wasn't speaking. Okay. You can speak. Okay. So there's not, he wants to make sure there's not like doing any messaging. It, it, it seems that things got a bit out of hand back there, so. 
Maybe yeah. it's time to continue forward. Dragon, bring the boy. It's time to continue. Yeah. One guard walks up. Sir, where do you plan on going? It is middle of the night. You know how dangerous this is. I don't know if I can risk your life. Calm down, my boy. <laughs> we go to prison. Will they, will, they hosp- will they allow us in? Oh, they'll take us. <laughs> I have a good feeling about it. Okay. What was in the tower in the, the lake? The result? You, <coughs> you know nothing about Wait, we don't know about that tower. <laughs> oh, shit, my bad. Sorry, I think, that was, I think he only knew about the tower on yep. the lake. Yep. Oh, okay. I told them. You did? Yeah, that I told you that. Was... <laughs> at, the, at that. When we got all together, I told oh. them. Before you ran out like a madman? Oh, yeah, he did! Okay. So what's in the tower again? Nothing. I don't know. He didn't ask. Shit, well, I'm going to go towards the tower then. You have no idea oh, where well, any tower is. First, I'm relay that to him. Kersik, my guards, we need to hit the tower at Lake Baronfro. Lake like what? Baronfuck. Baronfro. <laughs> He's a little drunk. When no, I just don't know the name of the lake. The character doesn't know it. <laughs> he heard the name once. It's like Lake Lake Baron Star. It's like Baba Louie, Baba Louie, or whatever. Yeah. Lake Baba Canoosh. Okay. As you guys walk, eventually the road turns to the left, and you can look down, and you can actually see that the trees, after maybe a good hundred or so yards, the the. Uh, Woods clear, open a little bit, revealing like a bad time to be like a hit, like a hill, and on the hill you guys can see like tents, and that, you, that's who you guys can kind of see. It's like maybe three hundred and fifty yards away. Where's the lake? Or the it's tent? just further down the road. Do you want to continue down the road, or you sure. guys can see these tent things? What's up to you? Things. Tent things, tent things. What? Sure. Why not? Maybe we should take ah. a rest. Things got a bit out of hand back there. Fuck. Maybe we can rest here at these tents. Maybe some friendlies, perhaps. Uh, Frank here <laughs> seems to need a rest as I lay a hand on him. Trigger, you're also at one HP, though? right? What? Are they Me? No, why would they? Well, that was Klaus. Yeah, Klaus is uh, probably unconscious and or possibly almost dead somewhere in a cave. Uh, so I'm, I, I'm assuming he's in Strahd's dungeon or worse, so I'm kind of at that point. Yeah, well, I think our young friend here needs a rest. He seems to have had an ordeal. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh! Speaking of which, uh... Sir, uh, were you hurt? Where's your friend Guile? Guile. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> sorry, that explains why he's so distraught. Right. That's yeah. what happens when you leave the group. Oh. I guess that stings a bit. Yes. Well, we should keep moving. Uh, where were we? Yes, uh... Strahd killed him. Ooh. <laughs> the devil Strahd. Ooh, that's definitely bad. <laughs> Okay. So you're gonna definitely wanna kill that guy. <laughs> That's a check, right? <laughs> yes. Check. Oh, okay. How much do you hate straw right now? <laughs> right. One to two. Check four. Yeah. yeah. Oh, see, this seems like a fine place to relax before we can turn you on. I think this whole flake, this whole country. I mean, I now. guess we wouldn't really be able to see it. As you guys are walking uh, down uh, towards this hill, on top of the hill is. Actually, I just have, I have a fucking thing right here. The woods part to reveal an expansive clearing, a small grass-covered hill with low houses built into its sides. Fog obscures the details, but you can see that these buildings feature elegantly carved woodwork and have decorative lanterns hanging from their sculpted eaves. Atop the hill, above the fog, is a ring of barrel-topped wagons that surround a large tent with a column of smoke pouring out through a hole in the top. The tent is brightly lit from within. Even at this distance, you can smell the odors of wine and horses that <clears throat> em- emanate from the central area. I immediately walk past the group towards the tent. Oh, where are you? All right, you guys, you guys, as you guys approach. Oh, it's the computer. I really thought it was the worst. I mean, it's tough. Rogue is not a fun buddy. place, right, Trev? Huh? Rogue is not a fun place. No, people die. Yeah. So, so I, 
I'm not yeah, I'm gonna make this place happy once more. <laughs> it never was happy. That's beautiful. Yeah, I was like, don't laugh at that. Okay, that's beautiful. Hey, but that's a good goal. Rod. Okay. If it kills me, kill my friend. Yeah. Okay. You'll get the friend. Get the friend. Trust me. One get way or another, faster. we're gonna control this realm one way or another. Yeah. Long term. <laughs> We took an L today, now we just we bounce back. Yes. Shame. But is there anything else you'd like to tell us of your ordeal? You fought with him. You've uh, you had, you lost Kyle. Was there anything else that happened to you that we should know about that might affect our group as a whole? No. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay. He tells about the parents, though. No, that's not what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. About. We're building that again, come on. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not saying nothing. That's why I'm asking now. Well, you can't even hint at it, because you wouldn't even know. No, I know. That's why I'm saying that. I'm dropping it. Alright. Alright. Yeah, moving on. No, oh, I can't even read that. Groups that are, secrets aren't good for friends, or groups, or whatever the hell we are. Whatever. We're trying to survive. Yeah. Well, now we're definitely all you got, huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay. House MIA. Dial yeah. Standing quietly in front of this house, <clears throat> bathed in warm light of its lanterns, are three sullen gray cloaked figures. Their angular features are black, flowing hair, half hidden under their cows. Ooh. You've seen this dark skin before. Ooh. From a dark elf. Ooh. Do you recognize these as dark elves? Hello, fellow drow. How goes the day? Can you approach him? Mm-hmm. Cautiously. Say that loud. Hello, drow. Hello. How is the morrow of the night, fellow? Ah. Night beings. Outside us. Yes. What brings you here? Well, we seem to be on the run and require a place to rest. Oh, you require sleep. Yes. Ah, poor human. Yes, you might want to go up to the top, yes? And maybe talk to Aragel or mm. perhaps Luvash yes. and ask them we are slaves. Oh. You see? Ha. And as you're looking at this man, or this elf, he his ears actually have been clipped off mm. and oh, they look, they're slaves and they just, they all have shackles on and they look, Malnourished. As he says that, I elder blast his shackles off. And I'm like, well, now you're my stewards. You, and, you, and he's just like, oh. You, you think you can just take them from me? Yes. Take us from him? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? I was like, oh, is he talking through it? No. That'd be cool. No. <laughs> like, yes, well, <laughs> I seem to just take what I want. Yes. Uh, you seem to not like it here, anywho. So maybe being a steward's better than a slave, maybe. Trevor, you get this weird feeling that you've heard the word Luvash. I can lead you to him if you want, or should we just escape now? Oh, I do not fear. Just fall in line with the rest. They like awkwardly like get in line. Now you guys have three dusk elves, <laughs> dark elves, or yeah, they're dusk elves. We're just building a pretty little posse. I like it. Okay. <laughs> As you, do you guys just continue? Do you guys walk towards the mound? I yeah, I'm going towards the tent. I want some wine. <laughs> drink, 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 drink. After you the day I've had, yeah, I want a beer. And I just start getting some. Cool. Wait, wait, wait. I don't take a drink yet. Because <laughs> again, this is unfamiliar alcohol, and I'm being a little skeptical. I just okay. grab a wine bottle and start chugging it. I'll let you do that. You get a very different bro. vibe I from hold off on these the Vistani. Yeah, I hold off on the drinking. I kind of figured they were gypsies. When you walk up, <clears throat> you see men, women. Human? They're all very finely dressed. Ooh. They all have pulled back, greased, black hair. They have whiter skin than the other Vistani that you've seen. Why type of folk? And, as a matter of fact, they sport a different color. Whereas the Vistani you know of the Zarvan tribe of Madame Eva is a blue. Whereas these 
are red. Why complex is red flavored to color? <laughs> The hilltop is covered with steaming piles of horse dung. More than two dozen horses are tethered to stone blocks inside the circle of wagons. It's very melodramatic. People are kind of just sort of chilling. Nobody's really partying. Matter of fact, everyone you kind of make eye contact with sort of just gives you this blank stare as you guys all walk by. There's a small campfire, but no bonfire. And the music that is being played is from a live band, barely emitting out any energy. Just sort of keeping the ambiance playing. Get a very different vibe from these Vistani. Yeah. They're over here, Lord Baron. The the dark elf dusk elf walks up and leads you to. Yeah. This barrel topped wagon is nicer than the others. Yeah. Drapes of golden silk hang in the windows, and the wheels have gold sun shaped hubcaps. An iron chimney pipe protrudes from the roof. <coughs> yep. Oh, is there anyone outside? Is there a knock? There's a rug over the entrance. Oh. I'm like, do I knock on this abode or do I just announce myself? <laughs> Enter. Oh, well, I think I'll just announce myself. Good day! I'm the Baron and I'm here before I need to rest. And this <laughs> seemed great. <laughs> you such a fucking jackass. I'm enjoying it. Come <laughs> on. Really Can I ask you Callan's you? over there just trying to swap stories and chug this wine while listening to Percy. I'm just oh, laughing yeah. my ass off because of this Can't bullshit. <laughs> okay, Callan, you walk over and <laughs> grab this wine and you drink it and it tastes very bitter and cold. It is a dark blue wine that you haven't tasted yet in Barovia. Mm. Very bitter. And you notice that they actually, the dude you took it from is sitting on crates of it. Kind of strange. Hmm. And on the boxes, you also notice that it says Wizard of Wine. Oh. oh. Do I got to yeah. spell it out for you? Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Thanks. Wizard of Wine. I look to him and I go, such a fine wine. Where did you get it? Do you dabble? You look over this man, obviously drunk. Yeah. Got a black mustache. He has like a kind of like a fedora on. And he has two big buck teeth. Looking at you. I dabble a little bit in the fine wines. Yet you don't look like you've seen dragon's blood or tasted it. No. That blue stuff you have in your hand. This, this is the dragon blue stuff? Oh, it tastes really good. I like the bitter. Did we cut back to Percy? Oh, her. The Baron. You, you hear a... The Baron? What? The sh- wagon shifts. Yeah. And elegantly, almost like smoothly, the rug parts. And out pops a man. Two men. The first is the bottom one. The second one is the top one. The first man has a, like a wispy mustache and has his hair pulled back. He's younger than the second man who walks by. The second man is growing in a bit of a beard and the first man has a very pointed nose and he has a smile on his face. Do we have guests? Yes, yes. I'm your guest and so is my retina. Ah, Lord Baron, of course. It's nice to see you mm, out and about. Yes, isn't it? I required myself a point of a walk, so... Oh, please! I am so sorry. What? What? We have a training course. Uh, of course. Luvash, take, take him to the training port. He's a, and he's this a big, young brother. This big man walks up, grabs you, and he pushes you. Not really hard, just like in, a, in the direction. Yeah, he's, he's that was the wrong word. He shows you where to go. Yes. And you guys walk down. When he put, when he like pushes his hand, pushes his hand on you, you get this 
flash of a younger version of him, like sitting there holding this baby, and then it's flat, and then it's gone, and he pushes him off. Ah, yes, Lord Baron, I apologize. Please, come inside. You must be here for the, my missing daughter. Of course. My niece, I mean, sorry. As it were. Yes, I summoned you three days ago. I was getting nervous, but she's been missing. Mm, and I've been tired and busy with things it's in the town. <laughs> the yes. town is on fire. It's stunning. Yes, we have much to, much to discuss. Come, yeah. all of you are welcome. Yes, I'll just bring my small little group with me. As you guys all enter this bardu. Did I see where uh, Trevor walked out to? Yeah, you look down, he, you, you, as you walk inside the carriage, Callum, you peek back at, at Trevor, who is walking back down the hill. And then you walk inside. Alright. Mm. Trevor, he leads you to a set of dummies. That are there, he says. Go have it. He said, you know, you look vaguely familiar to me. I can't quite place my, my, my tongue on it. But it is a sad day. You remind me of my daughter. She's missing. Abducted. All I know is she was last seen at the lake. And he kind of walks off. And then... And you just start the, training your, with the dummy. And one thing that I do real fast before he goes... He already just, walked off. Dude. You start training on this dummy. I, uh... While we're walking in, I go up to the Baron. I go up to the Baron. And I say, Lord Baron, I'll be back. Oh, there's you. I must dismiss this one. Huh? He oh, said, yeah. I'll be back. I said, yeah, I gotta dismiss you. Okay. Hello. And then I look at that one. And I start yeah. heading towards where Trevor's at. Okay. He's like, I don't know what to do. And by the time you get there... One second, pause. Pause. Oh, the dummies. The <laughs> dummy knocked you out. I thought you meant of the people. I said, why? Please, have a seat, Lord Baron. Please. Some wine, cheese, what may I offer? Uh, I don't require such legal offering. And for your friends? If they require something to be done, then Please, they... take a seat. You guys sit down, there's like... It's actually a pretty big carriage, it's kind of weird. It looks like it's way bigger than what you'd picture on yeah. this carriage. Like, there's a, there's a table, a circular table in the middle where there's chairs sitting at. Yeah. And then there's two, like, be- like benches on the side. And there's and there's cushions everywhere, yeah. and beads hanging everywhere as well. All, yeah. all these crazy symbols inside of this carriage. It's just it's like, drinkers, yeah. It's like very velvety. Yeah, it's like everything. Like the walls are velvet and so. Yeah. This is my kind of carriage. Yes. Thank you, Dave. How do you pull it along? I didn't see any horses. Oh, I have plenty of horses. You didn't walk any oh, in any of that horse dung out oh, there. Oh, I guess of course, I apologize for that as well. Do you like a shoe shine? Any of you? I have sir, I have slaves. Don't worry. Well, you uh, did. What do you mean? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean that I favored the three drows and I took them. You have them. Go for it. Of course. I have um, many others. Yes. As a How gift. Many? I, oh, who watches over them? I do. <laughs> you see, there are only... No, there's not hundreds, sorry. Yeah. There's tens. Oh. And as a matter of fact... As a matter of fact, I completely lost my train of thought. There's tens of slaves in the forest, and they said, who watches over them? And you said, I do. As a matter of fact, they owe me a life debt. For what is it that you may include me upon? Well, the leader of the Dark Elves, this Dusk Elf, sorry, is named Casimir. He fancies himself to be a bit of a, hmm, a scholar, shall we say. Mm. He gives me trouble. Take him as well. Okay, okay, but, uh, uh, what 
again, how do you keep control of the rest of them? What do you mean? Well, you say you don't, you, you keep control of them, right? Yes. Is it because they're willing to do it? or Because they're so manacles, so I mean, do you have God use magic? You see, if you notice, all of the Dusk Elves are males. Yes. Well, it is quite a sad tale, actually, but long ago, one of their own turned against them. This Rahadin. He killed all of the female Dusk Elves as punishment to his own kind. What? Casimir's sister fell in love with the devil and wanted to be her bride. Casimir and the others could not have this. So they stoned her to death. Mm. Rahadin felt betrayed by his own kind to deny his brother Strad von Zarevich, his true love. Not even his own kind could stop his hand. He murdered all of the women and f- children of the dark el- dusk elves. They are no, they are bound to him by blood magic and have to live this eternal fate under my control and cannot breed. They are all very old. That's fucked up. That is a fucked up story. Yo, my God. I knew I hated that freaking elf. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, that's upsetting. So... You control them. Yes. Me and Rahadin. You see, I am his mm, captain, shall we say. Captain Luvash. Nice to formally meet you. Yes. Yes, of course. As you know, we all serve Strahd. Of course. Yes. I've heard mm, mixed things about you. Lord Baron. Yes, I like to play up front. I like to let the people think I'm against Strahd. So then they trust me, and then I sacrifice them to him anyway. Pretty quite extravagant and complex, but it works for me. I expect nothing less from you, Lord Baron. Mm. As I reach out, like, I could truly respect one of your caliber. I'm sorry, I do not touch hands, you see. Mm. He, like, grabs this wipe, wipe, wet cloth and wipes his cloth. And he gives you a side, side, side eye. Do you guys like apps? I'm like, I'm not here. Right yeah, yeah. But me and me. Looking at him, can I kind of get a hunch he's kind of vampirish or anything like that? No. Not at all. Okay. Can I get a hunch at all for you? He's just an elf type. This now he's looking for. Oh, he's a human type. He's a human dude. Sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad. My bad! Alright, focusing back. He's a gypsy that owns dust. What kind of game? I had a really cool way to kill a bunch of vampires and that's what I was running into. What kind of game? Well, I have good prizes. Yeah, and there's a whole thing that I want to talk to you about. We'll get to that in a minute. And he smiles. As we cut. (laughs) Oh, me and him now? Kellen. It's in the darkness. You're like sneaking by all of these Vistani. Yeah, I'm trying to get. And you're like, trip yep. You see him down there. You can see the that huge Vistani, the bearded one, kind of just overwatching him, like 15 feet away from him. And you can see Trefor is just practicing and slicing these things' heads off and just practicing. I uh, <clears throat> I immediately change my hand into a raven claw. I go up to the guy that's watching over Trefor, without him knowing, being really quiet. I slit his throat with my Ravenclaw. 
All right, roll strength. Wait, I do? Roll stealth. Who Sorry. Did you just kill? He's trying to kill the guy watching over Trevor. Why? <laughs> Plus six. Plus my dexter. But why? You don't know if he's Nine. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah, so tie? It's a tie? Yep. Okay. Um, so, does I roll again? Or? No. He's like sneaking up to you, and you step on a step on a stick, and he turns towards you. And you're just, he, he's just looking down at you. Like, hey, how's it going, man? Hmm. I wanted to talk to Trey for a minute. You're just like in like ninja pose. Are you like sort of straighten yourself up? Well, I explained to him like, we literally just got attacked. I'm on edge. Understandable. <laughs> That's just straight up fucking crazy. Please. Right he's <laughs> your problem now. And he pats your shoulder and walks away. I go up to uh, Trey for. Why does everyone keep calling me Trey yeah. What happens? What's Without the Y, because it matters. Trevor, 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 Trevor. Trevor! Trevor. 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 V is now F. I go up to Trevor. I still have my hand no, into a claw. I still have my hand into a claw. Uh huh. Is he still practicing? Yeah. Okay. Are you going to call me Trevor? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, I mean, you're already doing it. Yeah. I tell him, oh, no, I don't tell him anything. I just go up behind him, tap him on the shoulder as he turns around. And as he's looking at me, I'm like, you're gonna learn a lesson tonight. And then I swipe across his throat. With what? Sensing extreme violence. Can I feel that through this thing? Dude, why are you murdering me? Yes. Yeah. Did you have a stun? It has nothing to do with Bryce. No. This is Why nothing to do with Trevor, I need a perception check. Callan, I need a stealth. Okay. Perception? I'm actually kind of interested in how this is playing out a little bit. 19! It's a natural 20. Yeah? Wait, what? what? Wait. Yes. Mine is perception, right? I can re roll if you want. No. No. It's he had a dash for me. Okay. You said a perception check. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> we'll just say for the purposes I just of the campaign, my perception. it was something else. Let's remove it. No, we'll just no, no, it's it's a natural no, 20 and you natural 20 killed Trevor, you natural 20 killed the Trevor. This is what, what happens. Saying. This is what happens. If that's what you want to happen. This is what happens. Okay. Callan, you sneak up as you, as you and he doesn't notice you. He's still practicing. His sword is swinging and all of a sudden you get up and all of a sudden you, you feel Callan on your throat. And he tries to attack you. What do you do? He tries slitting your throat. I you grab his arm and I just snap it. Grab it. Okay, now you guys need a strength check. You guys, Trefor immediately just grabs after you on your arm and he's like trying to and pull it away. Three. You guys are struggling. 12. Uh, 10 plus 3 is 13. Yeah, <laughs> he's winning. In slow motion. Kill me. There's a moment where Callan and Trevor act and it slips in slow motion. What is it, with a blade or with your claws? Okay. Dude, wow. So now, now roll damage. Huh? Now roll damage. Okay. I've got healing potions. Why? Why are you gonna roll damage. This is a lesson, I think, we're all, like, this guy 14. This claw I'm slashes. Like yep, no. this claw slashes at you, Trevor. I don't know what my claw does. I mean, he's slitting in the throat, man. Let him just perceive what he's doing. Yeah, okay. He killed him. What do you want to do now that he killed him? No, he's not dead because he has death, death save throws, right? No, I you just slit his fucking throat. You went up behind him. You rolled a natural 20 to stealth up behind him. You slit his throat. You then wanted the strength save to overpower him. You killed him. Why did you want to kill him? <sighs> I was going to bring him back with okay. the healing potion. Okay, see. Okay. <laughs> well, you got to roll damage. Okay. Because I don't know if you kill him or not. Well, I mean, you went through I'm all I'm at one things. HP, dude. He was already at one HP. Remember all that? He was at one HP. Oh, yeah. Wow. Can we, yeah. Re- can we go back? Can no, we just- you can't no, go, go back. back. I'm wow. loving this. You go just back. went through all this to murder him. Continue. Please continue. No, I please. checked. Natural 20, yes? Yes. You're like, okay. Let him do it. You natural 20 murdered him. Let him do it. What do you want to do? 
You don't get to just go, well, I'll take it back. No, you did your Continue. thing. Continue. Well, I was gonna, like, okay, like, you, did he have a death save throw when you went down, so I was gonna flop out a uh, healing potion and bring him back and be like, this is what happens when you fuck up. I was gonna try and teach him a lesson. By murdering him? Yeah, because he died and he came back. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I see where you're kind of going with this. <sighs> Actions and have consequences. Describe what happens. <sighs> What actions? You're saying his actions that he pulled back at the town that he already suffered the consequences of losing his best friend? I think turning on his group. Did he through it? Or turning on his group, I think is what he's looking at. Let's not the last cookie. No, keep playing this out. I want to see how you're, you're yeah, doing this. Yeah, keep going. Never mind. No, please. It's not never, there's no never mind. In d and d He even okay. knows. There's no never mind. Let's you keep what going. Happens. Alright, so I slit his throat, I was going to pop a healing potion, put it into his All mouth, right. and bring it back. Alright, do it. So I do. I'd have to make sure you, you're restraining him, though, because he's going to come back pissed off, and you just gave him full strength. Just be cautious of that. <laughs> like, as many healing potions as I can. Yeah, I'd prefer into his throat. All. You feel a tingling across your throat. And then warmth as you look over into Callan's face. He has this evil look that you've never seen before. And then darkness fades. Callan, you're holding Trefor. You see, he was like struggling, blood pooling down him. And then his, his eyes just roll into the back of his head. And they're holding him, and you're like looking down on him. I pop a couple healing potions and put it in his throat. Pop it, pour it. It just pours down his throat, out his throat hole. <laughs> Actions have consequences. And that's the end of the session. Oh, <laughs> fuck! So I don't come back or nothing, I'm just the <coughs> gang. You gotta start a new gang. God damn it. Wow. <laughs> you just killed. Well, I thought you were just gonna knock him out. Oh, wait, oh, uh, <sighs> we'll see what happens. No, let's see what I, I like where you ended it. How you ended it as a, is he coming back or is he not? No, that's